loves and welcome back to my channel so on today's video i will be sharing my honest thought after using this new and improved cetaphil gentle skin cleanser this is dry to normal sensitive skin it says that it hydrates as it cleanses to soothe and replenish skin moisture so if you also have a combination to oily sensitive skin then you can also avail on that and i just choose this dry to normal sensitive skin because i always have a dry skin especially during winter season so that's the reason that i choose this one but if you have combination then you may try the combination to oily sensitive skin and also before i'm going to start sharing my honest thought if you also have like an acne or prone for acne then this one is really great for you the cetaphil gentle clear clarifying cream cleanser acne cream cleanser i would really love this one i love this one although i don't have so much acne but or i don't have an acne but i still love using this one because this is perfect especially when i applied my vitamin c because of the salicylic acid so i am still using this one but uh, if i feel like my skin needs hydration i i stopped using this one for a while and go on on this cetaphil gentle skin cleanser dry to normal uh, sensitive skin so before i'm going to start sharing my honest opinion about this cetaphil i always have to say this one that we all have different skin types so all you have to do is to listen to your skin and if you feel like your skin don't like it then of course discontinue the use of the product and if you already have a severe acne severe skin irritation please consult for a dermatologist before applying anything onto your skin and of course do a patch test before doing anything onto your skin and I always have to repeat this one that please read the instruction before using any product that you are going to apply onto your skin so now let's talk on the common ingredient of the product so one of it is of course this one contains a glycerin and glycerin is really great for our skin because it helps to moisturize our skin it makes our skin more hydrated looking and it helps to prevent moisture loss onto our skin you're sleeping baby so the next one is the vitamin b5 this is really common in most of the skincare right now i just noticed so i'm not sure if you also notice this one so this is just my opinion so by the way this vitamin b5 is really beneficial especially if you have a dry skin because it helps to hydrate your skin it helps to moisturize your skin and this has the capacity to rejuvenate or regenerate your skin so this is really great uh, ingredient on this cetaphil and the last ingredient that I will be talking is of course the niacinamide and if you are following me on several of my videos um, you will know how I'm in love with this niacinamide because for me this is really effective however sad to say that this is not for everybody because some don't like using niacinamide as I was reading on the comment section on several of my videos they don't like niacinamide because some say that they have purging and just they have like irritation so maybe they are sensitive to this one but for me personally I love using niacinamide and I love a product that contains uh, niacinamide and this has a lot of skin benefits such as anti-aging and if you have skin discoloration this may help to remove the skin discoloration but in the long run it's not a magic because we all know that there is no magic in several things such as skincare it takes a long time before you can really see the result and aside from that also if you have like a large pores try to use a product that contains niacinamide and it helps the appearance of your or the skin appearance or the texture of your skin so niacinamide is really great especially on my skin types and i i love using a product that has niacinamide so you might also try to use niacinamide especially if your problem is like large pores and of course we all have pores we are human beings so pores is normal however that can be minimized by just using a skincare that would really works for that such as niacinamide so now i'm going to share my personal personal experience after using this product so this product honestly I would say that I hate it and the first thing that I've noticed on this one is the consistency of this Cetaphil their new improved consistency it has a creamy consistency like a watery consistency which is I really love it I love the consistency and it's very easy to apply it's very gentle and I can really tell that it's very hydrating and it doesn't bubble so much so it's very easy to rinse so, so as I've mentioned a while ago that you might hate this one because I personally hate this one on my first time of using this new improved uh, Cetaphil because the reason for that it does doesn't remove my sunscreen it doesn't remove my mascara and if you love wearing foundation you can really tell that it is not removed because when you're going to use a toner you can still see that there are still foundation and it's just not removing the thing that you wanted to remove as as what the cleanser will do onto your onto your skin so I was not you know I was not really amazed on that I was really like oh my god this is not working this is not working because 
uh, my eyes look super black because of the mascara and it's just didn't feel like I am cleaning my skin so that's the reason that I hate it so after several usage of the product, I've learned my lesson that this Cetaphil doesn't really remove your makeup, your foundation, your mascara, your lipstick. All you have to do first is to double cleanse or to use like makeup melting. So sometimes I use this makeup melting from Neutrogena and I usually use puns. These are a very affordable product that I've been using but it really helps to remove the, the makeup, the foundation and the sunscreen. So before you're going to use this one always double cleanse because if you're just going to use this Cetaphil alone it won't really remove your makeup maybe you're going to wash three times before it will be removed especially the mascara it won't remove unless you are going to double cleanse first or remove your makeup first before washing this one so, so as what i've mentioned i am learning my lesson and i know how to use this one already and i am really amazed on this one i feel like this new improved is really nice especially during winter time my skin is super high hydrated looking and if you love using retinol also this is a great uh, facial wash to use it's very gentle really on the skin and you can really tell that your skin is like glowy or hydrated looking so that's that's how this new improved Cetaphil is really good especially for dry skin and the next thing that I was so impressed on this new improved Cetaphil is that uh, some of the facial cleanser I would honestly say that it can hurt onto my eyes even if I close my eyes for some reason it hurts on my eyes and this one it don't bother me it don't hurt on my eyes and it's just super nice because you can apply closer to your eyelids and it don't hurt so that's a plus factor that I love on this Cetaphil and and it's very gentle you can really feel that it's really hydrating and uh, it don't bubble so much it's easy to rinse as what I've mentioned mm, you are sleepy mm, you are sleepy my baby you are sleepy so if I'm going to rate this one from 1 to 10 I would say that I am going to give like 8 it's almost perfect the reason for that is this is absolutely amazing especially for my dry skin type I love it after washing my face it makes my skin super hydrated and I can really tell that my skin is glowing after washing like it's like an instant result so I love it I love the hydration that it gives so anyway that's all about it uh, I hope I give you insight just in case you wanted to try this new and improved uh, Cetaphil this is really a new formulation and it's really gentle it's very hydrating on the skin I think I repeat several times about the hydration because I am really amazed on the results on this one so that's all about it and I do hope to see you on my next one bye bye are you sleepy